What's up everybody? Welcome back to Satisfactory. It's been a couple days since I've recorded the game. I've done a little bit of work off camera and I've also been experimenting working out how to get the power grid working. I've also built a few more smelters. So our factory is upsized a bit. Now, what I've done is... There you go over it quickly. So originally what I was going to do is have two smelters for smelting copper and another two for making iron. However, my one bio generator over there only has enough power to keep one, two, three, four, five machines going, not the sixth one as well. So at the moment I've just got all of them pumping out iron. And in fact I think they're yeah, full on iron ingots at the moment. But that is not the most important thing. What I wanted to show off was, if I'm not sure if you'll remember, but uh, towards the end of the last video, we were looking at what we needed to upgrade our hub to the third tier. I have got everything for that off camera. Let's upgrade it. Boom. Our hub. Ooh. Look quite nice in here. Incoming message. You have unlocked new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Eighth objective, hub upgrade, additional power. Advice, when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Caution, overloading the power network guarantees suboptimal performance. Is that everything? I think that is. Hey, we've even got a toilet now. I swear I just heard flies when I walked in there. Quite possibly. But okay, so this is starting to look quite cool. We've got some bunk beds that look way too small to fit in. We've got a toilet, we've got a little kitchen, we've got a desk. And, you know what, let's just take a look at how our hub looks now. Oh, did not mean to jump down there. I've also built more portable mining stations. Got three on the iron, two on the uh, limestone, and two on the copper over there. Right, so let's jump up here and have a look. Okay, so we just got a nice bigger space up here, and we've got a platform up here now as well. Right, so if we could take a look at the new thing blueprints we've just gotten. Logistics, conveyor pole, can be used as a connecting as a connection for conveyor belts. You can adjust the height of the pole, useful to route conveyor belts in a more controlled manner over long distances. And conveyor belt. Transports up to 60 resources per minute, used to move resources between buildings. Foundations. Foundation 8 meter by 4 meter, 8 meter by 2 meter. Then we've got ramps as well. And we've even got some walls so we could start making our own base area. What do the foundations cost? Okay, foundations just cost concrete. And is there anything new here for us? No, there isn't. Rules, logistics, power, production, special. Okay, but what I most wanted to show off, so these are the things we just unlocked. Have we got an extra inventory slot? We do. Now, hub upgrade four, select milestone. I have also gotten absolutely everything that I need for this upgrade as well, because I am incredibly prepared for once. So it should be all of these slots here. Let's grab them and we'll grab them. So we can go straight into the next upgrade. And where is our concrete? There it is. Waiting for resources, total parts received, 214 out of 215. Ah, oh, we're missing a single wire. There we go. Upgrade hub to level four. Boom. Nice. Hey, we just got a second biomass burner. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator, new buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Ninth objective, hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Right. So, what have we just unlocked? We have got ourselves, we've got a miner. That's what we wanted. And we've also got a storage container, another inventory slot, and then the last milestone, which 
That is going to take quite a few resources to do. 500, 150. Actually, that's not too bad. We could probably get that done relatively soon, however. Ooh. Okay, so tier zero is complete the hub. I think once we've got hub upgrade five, we're going to start on complete space elevator phase one. And there's two of the phase one. And phase two, phase two, phase three. Okay. Right. Just a quick check. All right, nothing new there. But in this, here we go, miner, mark one, that's what we want. So we need a portable miner. Let's go and grab one of our iron ones. Uh, grab all. Uh, pick up miner. No, no inventory slots, damn. All right, so this is where we're going to start being able to automate things a bit. So what we'll end up having is our miner up on the copper over there. Then it's going to pump with conveyor belts over to the smelter. And the smelter is going to turn it into ingots for us and then pump it into a storage box. And we've got this lovely biomass burner. Right. Pick up miner. There we go. We have got our miner. So we want to make a miner mark one. And we've got everything we need for it. So, resources out. Yeah, that's the only option. So we're going to want to bring the resources out straight towards our lovely furnace setup. Encroaching other space. Okay, so pick up. Ooh. Uh, that's a nine. You, can you... No, okay. Is there a way I can sort this out? What can I... Uh, let's... We've got two of them. Let's just delete them. Perfect. And we'll put that in our hand. Grab all. There we go. That box is out of the way. Now, we're going to make our miner mark one. Encroaching others' clearance. It isn't, though. Hmm. Okay. Guess we need to move this one, too. Pick up miner. And... There we go. Now let's try it. I know I just deleted a ton of copper ore. Should be fine. Encroaching others' clearance. It's not. That is not encroaching any clearance at all. Snaps to there. That's where it wants to be. Can't place a resource extractor. On a resource deposit, it needs to be a resource node. Yeah, there. Hmm. Okay. Let's try it over here on the iron, I guess. Hmm. That was a little bit weird. We might have just found a bug. It might be intended. Encroaching others' clearance. That's not encroaching anyone's clearance. Hmm. Okay. How about we do a quick scan for iron ore? Where have we got some? 200 meters this way. Okay. There will be absolutely nothing built on this iron ore. It should. Should be in the keyword there. Let us pump from it. Damage to fix it property detected. Uh, so, oh, hello, you little snails. Can I? Nope, can't kill you. First instinct, always just kill the enemy thing. Hmm. Approaching others' clearance. You're not. Needs a resource node. Approaching others' clearance. This is really confusing. Hmm. Okay. Build miners to fully automate. Add buildings to your to-do list via the build menu. Uh, add buildings to your right mouse button to add to to-do list. There we go. 
power network can be overloaded manage it well okay I've added it to my to-do list will you now let me do it am I too close to it to do it okay I'm back right got help in the discord what I had to do was smash up the node that was actually on there and ta-da we can now place our minor mark one. Now we want to line it up roughly. I think that's good. Boom. Right. How do I get you to work? Valid aim location. Yep, okay, let's leave build mode. So you need to be powered and you need conveyor belt. Ah, okay, so let's get a pylon. Right, we're gonna need some wires for that. All right then. Well under production. I'm excited to get my first little bit of full automation work in here. So we're gonna connect our pylon to this one. Right then. So it's just wires that we need. These ones. And probably some copper wire as well. Uh, let's make a few ingots. And let's do that. Perfect. Right. So that's... Hmm. Oh, you know what? I could have just dismantled that one. There we go. We'll set a cabling line to there. And then we'll put another pylon, I think, in here. And we'll connect it to there. Missing cable times two. Okay. Need more cables. Thought I had enough. I was wrong. We got this. Want to get this done. I'm so... I'll be proud of myself if I can get this working. Missing cable. Yeah, there we go. So let's connect you. To you. Then you. Up there to you. Now. Ah, oh, look at it go. Come on. Down you go. But is it just going to start spewing? Okay, so there we go. It's storing the iron in there. So now we want to start setting up conve conveyor belts. Hmm. Okay. I did not mean to send that all the way over there. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look at that. And then we'll bring that. Ah, uh, we can't bring it all the way. Let's see how far we can bring it. Bring it to there. Ah, oh, we're missing iron plates. Okay, there should be some in this one. Nope, that's made copper for us. You have made us iron plates. Excellent. Right. So we'll go from there. Hmm. round into the back of that. Actually, no, no, no. I don't like that. Um, let's... Ooh, I think in rotate this. So, can I take everything out? I can. And let's dismantle you. Let's build a new smelter. So, we're going to want to place it... Uh, in this side, yep. So then we'll hook up. Oh, wow. Look at that. Do we get sent? Oh, we get conveyed as well. Oh, we're going to get smelted. No. Right. Now, that smelter there is not yet powered. Is it filling up, though? So you're going to make copper for us. No power. Okay. That's fine. That is more than fine. What I might do, let's, um, temporarily, I am sorry, but I'm going to, uh, what can I get rid of? Okay. Really need a little bit more storage. There you go. Made up a little bit of space there. Take them from there. Dismantle you. 
And let's hook up power to this one. And boom! There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at it. Okay, we are currently running up a down escalator. Whee! But look at that. That is nice. Whoop. So, it will make... Yeah, 60 per minute, and it's pumping it out at the rate of, what, one per second? Yeah, it's pumping out at the same rate it's making them. Solid line of copper going there. Okay, and we can climb up. Ah, it's a minor Mark 1, so we will be able to upgrade it eventually. Nice. Right, I'm going to ride this. Are we just going to get shot off the end there, or will we turn with it? Let's find out. I think we're just going to get shot off the end. No. No, I could actually set up just a nice little theme park of conveyor belts going around the entire area. Kind of think like that might be fun. Right. What I want to do is make myself some storage boxes. Ooh, organization. Storage container. Ah, oh, beautiful. That can just get placed right there. Right, so thinking what I'll do is place them have them like that uh, I wish I could get them to just snap together there we go okay now we're out of resources that's fine and we're going to connect the conveyor belt to there now oh look at that Oh, that's perfect. So it is being mined over there, pumping through, then coming straight into here. So that's 24 slots in there, so that could be stored 2,400 copper for us. That's nice. Can we make ourselves a biogenerator yet? No. Right. So now... This is kind of leaving this as a giant mess over here. But for now, I am happy with that being set up like that. That's lovely. Then we've got that one going up there. I'm thinking I want to get the same setup. What are we missing for here? Iron rods. Okay, we're going to also get one of these placed down on the iron node just below that one there. So if I can make myself... Have I got iron rods? I do, but I think I need one more. Is that enough now? Nope. I think I accidentally just put all of my iron rods away because I'm a genius. There we go. Right, so we're going to need to break the little node here. So, just going to have to smash this down. The, the pure iron. This takes quite a while to break. There we go. And then we're going to shove a miner onto there too. Right, I'm thinking, where's the easiest way up going to be? I'm th yeah, probably this way. So we'll have it, have it spilling out this end. Awesome. We'll connect conveyor belts. How high can we get it? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Are we able to actually bring it over? Can't afford. Okay. Let's bring it up here. And then we're almost out of iron plates. Okay, I think I've got some more stored up. Iron plates, iron plates, iron plates. No, but I've got a ton of ingots. Okay, let's just mass fabricate some iron plates. Boom, 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 boom. So each section I think takes two iron plates and I'm going to do this a really confusing way. This might end up looking hideous and ugly but I want to give it a go. I just want lines and lines of resources coming in from the same area. So what I'm going to try and do is bring it all the way up over there and then snake it down parallel to that. I know that is missing iron rod. Did I? Do I need an iron rod? Yeah, I do need iron rods. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course, it needs a support to finish it. 
Um, what might I need more for? There we go, let's just get some of these. We'll get a whole load of iron rods made up. I think probably about 20 of them will do. There we go, we can now make 20. So now once we've got everything piping up, we're going to be able to get individual smelters from each node. So we'll have... Oh, you know what? Can we have two miners on here? We can! Awesome. So what I'd have is two miners, both going to smelters, and then one of the smelters making, going to a, fabric, a constructor and making iron plates, and the other one making iron rods. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Probably a bit too much. Okay, you don't want to go down that ledge like that, I understand. And we'll go over to here. I'm going to bring you over here to this one. I'm going to snake you down. Ah, oh, this is lovely. And then we're going to bring it... Ah! I'm missing a smelter. Okay. Um, have you got resources in? Some, but not much. Right. Let's make ourselves another smelter here. Boom. Right. And we'll connect this up. To that. So that is snaking all the way around, just so we've got this nice clean paddock area here. And then we'll connect the power line to there. Now that should, in theory, start pumping out some iron for us. Ooh, let's watch the drill going down. There we go. That's starting to mine the ground apart. And... Is it going to go? There it goes! And here comes our iron. So, this is the amazing journey our iron will take. Ooh, we're taking it a little bit faster than the iron. Let's go back here a little bit. Okay, so we are taking the journey a little bit faster than the iron will. But that's fine. Can we go straight through this tree? No, we can't. Can the iron? That's the important part. Can our iron make it through the tree? The iron can make it through the tree. Excellent. Right, so our iron is going on a nice little roller coaster ride. All the way around. It's going to meet up over here with the copper. Oh, I'm so happy with this. This is incredibly satisfying to do. I understand why it's called satisfactory. Look at that solid stream of copper we've got coming in. Now. Okay, the iron's got a ways behind us, so we've still got time to connect up this one. Because I believe... Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be making iron ingots for us. Have you got a connection? Yeah, you have got a spare connection. There we go. And then, out the back of here, we're going to go... Conveyor belt. Out of that one. No iron plates! No, that's not good. Got to beat the iron to the punch. Um, iron plates... That should be enough. Out the way. Let me through. Want to get here before the iron. Okay, we easily got here before the iron. And then, boom. How much copper have we got? Oh, look at that. Already 260 copper in there. Right. Where's our iron? Iron's coming along nicely. Have you got enough power? Uh, I think so. I'm just going to make sure these are fully stocked with power at the moment as well. You have got 174 biomass, you've got 125. So, a bit more into both of them. Wonder if we can be able to make things like solar generators eventually. Okay, so it looks like our iron is a little bit slower than the copper. Well, actually, no, of course, it was just because the copper had already built up, I think, almost 100 by the time I managed to build the conveyor belt for it. So yeah, there's a bit more space between these ones. There's a lot more space between these. Maybe that iron node wasn't as pure, or you just don't mine iron as fast. Come on, I don't want to beat the iron into there. I want to watch the iron go in. Here we go. 
And there we go. We've now got iron constantly churning its way in. So as it's making it, it's then getting spat straight out the back. And into here. Have you ever seen anything more pretty? I know I haven't. Right. Ooh, can we make... Can we stack store? We can stack storage containers. Oh, that is... That is perfect. We can stack all our storage. That's... That's just all we need. Right. What are you? What end is this? Is that the in or is that the out? Hmm. So going to build mode for you. Is there a way I can... No. Okay. Well, let's take the ingots out. All of the ingots out. And then we'll dismantle you quickly. Right, so... I'm probably going to end up moving my system at the moment away from there a bit. So, I think what we should have at the moment is just this thing making the plates for us. Because plates are what we need the most of at the moment. Missing reinforced iron plates. Okay, I just managed to delete some reinforced iron plates. Hello, sweetie. I'm so happy with this. Have you seen how I've got it all set up? I've actually got conveyor belts now. So I'm pumping everything. Uh, it's going into the smelters. Oh, they're nice. Right I am recording, yeah. Hi! And see, so yeah, it goes into the smelters mm -hmm. and comes out as ingots into my storage. Very interesting, I am really proud of this. <laughs> right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little cameo from Kira there. Didn't even know she was in the room. Okay. So, what I'm doing, I, I was making the reinforced iron plates that I managed to delete. So, for that, we need. Iron plates and screws. Now, there should be screws in here. There are. Oh, just for now, I'm going to drop off these bits into here. And you know what? I should probably actually put all the iron into storage, but oh well. Reinforced iron plates. We need three of them. That's two. We need actual iron plates. And 24 more screws. There we go. Can we now make a constructor? Yes! Yes, we can. Okay, so the iron is this one. So what we're going to want to do is have it set up like this. Is that right? I think that's right. Okay, that takes up way too much space. Let's, let's move this to the side then. And we'll stick the constructor here. We need to try and get this lined up. That good there? I think I'm happy with it there. Ah, no I'm not because there is no space to put in the conveyor belts. Right. Let's try this again. So we'll have it here. And then we connect the conveyor belt into that. Iron plates, damn. Keep forgetting the basics. It's alright, once we've got this set up we can have a nice supply of all these simple bits. And it's getting quite dark in the game, so I apologise if you cannot see much. I also cannot see much. There we go. Let's get that connected. There we go. It's pumping in, and you are going to make iron plates for us. Now, you have no power at the moment, which is an issue, and I cannot make biomass. Hmm. Have I got another attachment leading off of one of these poles here? You, you've got one line. Hmm. I might have to do the most hideous, ugly system you have ever seen. 
Tell you what though, these have got really good range on them. There we go. We've got a cable coming through the middle of our smelter. I'm sure that's not an issue. Perfect. And then what we want to do is chuck down a storage container. Let's bring that round. Let's put that next to it here. And then we'll connect with ugh, missing iron plates. That's okay. You are now making them for me. There we go. Into there. Oh, I think I might have put it the wrong way around. Maybe. Is that going to pump through? Yes, it is. So now our iron plates are all going into here. Awesome. That is perfect. So then we're going to need to do the exact same for copper. We're going to mirror it and have it coming out the other way and going around to that side. I am probably off camera at some point going to rip this entire thing apart and redesign it all. Hmm. You know what, I think what we should work on is trying to get... There we go. Let's look at the hub upgrade. Hub upgrade 5. So we get... Uh, it's no important there for us to add biomass manually. Right. Let's, well, let's select that as a milestone. And let's see what we can put into it so far. Uh, okay, so we need to make concrete, iron rods, and um, wires manually. Okay, actually, no, we don't need to do copper like that anymore. What are you doing? That's not how we make copper here. We make copper by chucking it. Well, no, we can't actually chuck it on there. Oh, look at that. So much copper ready for us. That's perfect. It is honestly so satisfying. Right. Ah, oh, we're only going to make 300 and something. That's still a lot, but it's not quite enough. This takes a long time to do it all manually. So yeah, but eventually we're going to have nodes set up to make wire, cable, biomass, concrete, screws, reinforced plates. Oh, reinforced plates is going to be such a pain to get set up because we're going to need to... Ooh, can we even have reinforced plates set up? Because we're going to need to get two things being fed into it. Hmm, interesting. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, concrete, we're going to need limestone. I've got 24. Have I got any limestone in here? I do. So we're going to need how much concrete? Only six more. Right, let's get these. There we go. Right, I think what I'm going to do is try and get all of these hub upgrade bits sorted, and then I'll come back to you. Just realised it tells me in the top corner how many of the resources I need. That makes it so much easier. So if we throw them in as we get them. There we go. So we need six more of the iron rods. There we go. And then we just need to get a bit more of the wires and the plates which are being made for us automatically. Right then, let's complete the final hub upgrade. 150 upgrade hub. Oh, that was a loud thunk. New buildings, new equipment, player upgraded. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, molecular analysis machine, also known as the MAM. Building, biomass burner. Building, space elevator. Equipment, object scanner. Equipment, beacon. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Additionally, the MAM provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Right. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. Okay. So what on earth is this thing? 
Is that just a huge scanner upgrade? Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Is that still mining? Yeah, that is. Right, let's take a look at what MAM is. Hey, MAM. Uh, you will take all these different things that I've actually just been eating to keep myself from dying. Right. Alien carapace. You know what? I've got some of them. I should have. Oh, actually, I've got loads of these. Well, not loads. I've got some. That should be enough. So, if I give you pale berries. No? Ah, okay, we're selected on barrel nut at the moment. Begin analysis. Time left, 4 minutes 57 seconds. Right. What will this do? I don't know. I'll see you in 4 minutes 48 seconds. Okay, ma'am is finished. Yes, yeah, so it's going to happen. Analysis and barrel nut is completed. Please choose a new specimen of the list to begin a new analysis. Okay. Barrel nuts can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. Object scanner nut. Okay, so we can select a milestone, put in five nuts, launch pod. Where's the pod gone that we launched? Come in. Alright then, I think I'm going to end off that episode here. We've accomplished a hell of a lot. Doesn't look like much. Actually, you know what? It does look like quite a bit as well. So, what have we done? We have fully upgraded our hub. Well, we've upgraded to step one of our hub. What I want to know is, what on earth is that? So you will have seen in the last clip this little thing coming down no idea what that is but we have now got the object scanner for the nut which I guess is cool and we have also got okay that's still got three and a half minutes left on it the pale berry but so once we craft ourselves the object scanner what is that x10 10, 10 seconds maybe to craft it but yeah once we craft that we'll be able to start sourcing our own nuts which will be cool, I suppose. I did briefly have a look at the... Where is it? Uh, production, is it? Ah, special. Space elevator. And it is huge. As expected, since, well, you are using it to send all your resources to space. So this is going to be our end game focus, but it's going to cost a lot of resources. We've probably got enough to make it already, but I can't bother right now. I want to try and focus on some of the other bits. So production-wise, because I didn't leave the computer turned on when I went out, it, we are at 47 iron. And... Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 832 copper. Oh, of course, we're not at 47 iron. We're at 180 iron plates. Yeah since it's all making it in there and it's just taking it in some at a time so if I ever need iron ingots all I've got to do is just disconnect that conveyor belt however there is something that I have noticed inside of the configuration here so we have actually still got multiple tiers of the hub to go so the next tier we're going to be making more fuel or we can make a conveyor splitter so we can set it up so that we can split conveyor belts in three. So what we'd do is send our conveyor belt in and we'd send half of our iron just to storage and the other half going from the smelter to the constructor, making the plates and then bringing that round and connecting it into the storage. Which is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to it and there's also you can make walls for the conveyor belts and things like that. I am pretty excited for all of this. And then there's all these things as well. Rotors, use of crafting, moving parts of a motor, assembler, no idea what this stuff's going to do, jump pads, landing pads, all looks fun. We will get there eventually. But that is going to do it for me from this episode of Satisfactory. 
and I can tell you it has been incredibly satisfactory. So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.